All right, folks, welcome to my retaining wall and paper patio project. Uh, this first picture you'll see uh, almost a completely finished paper patio and uh, retaining wall. So this is what I started with. It was a stacked stone wall, um, was not installed high enough or correctly, uh, just kept getting dirt and mud coming over top. You can see all the weeds and stuff and all the dogs would actually drag in all kinds of uh, dirt and debris into the basement. So we decided to go ahead and take it out and you can see here I removed it with a bobcat and then I had to actually chisel out uh, the stone underneath there and move it by hand So after I did that I rented this little fancy guy so I could get underneath the uh, deck so I could continue digging it out and I say it a couple times in the video, but uh, we're gonna have a 18 foot wide by 30 foot long uh, paper patio when it's all said and done. All right, so I wanna thank my uh, friend Joe Loniker for helping me film some of this. Uh, I'll put this in super slow-mo here in a second just for a dramatic effect. I'll link his page down below. As you can see, we're underneath the deck now. That way you can see how much dirt I actually took out. Um, from here, there was an old uh, rock, stacked rock wall that I took out, but it went, it was already the, just right here. So I went ahead and taken it back. That way, when I do the paver patio and the retaining wall, I'll have an 18 foot by 30 foot paver patio uh, underneath this deck. So here's the little bobcat I use or mirror, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, there's the other side. There's all my block over there. I got 13 skids of block and paver stone. So it's gonna be a lot of work and it doesn't help that it's uh, about 87 with no breeze today so it's not kind of nice working right around this dirt because it's uh, nice and cool so i'll do a time lapse once we start uh, laying laying the crush down uh what we'll do is do a two inch compact it with a hand tamp and then we'll go from there all right you can see i've laid some uh crush 304 or b19 basically it's a crushed limestone mix it has dust in it so it pretty packs pretty hard so what i did is kind of leveled it out took my uh level kind of ran across here but uh it's very imperative that you get your first course of block perfectly level i mean it'll save you headache way down the road because once that one's off then the next one up's going to be off and you're you might rock a little bit and i mean this is a retaining wall it's going to take and hold back the dirt that you're wanting it to. So with that being said, your first layer has to be almost perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a few and then I'll pull up the level on it and show you how, how you can level it. And with working with this, this works pretty good. I mean, you can move it around by your hand and then just re-tamp re it. And uh, we'll see where it goes. All right, you see my friend Joe here helping me out. What he's doing is getting in front of me, uh, leveling out the crushed limestone, and then uh, tamping it down. And what that does, it kind of interlocks it, makes it as hard as concrete. I mean, you can still move it around a little bit, so you're not gonna have that nice hard hardness, but uh, using this, it makes it easy to level.
All right, so now I have two layers down, uh, alternating the blocks so that you get that look of where it covers the center. So there's a better look at it right there. If you look back in the back, you'll see this uh, geo mat. So basically what this does is you put it between the layers of block and then you throw dirt on top of it so if the block ever goes to shift it'll pull against that geo mat and will not let the wall fall over actually using a new camera and i did not have it all set up yet right so this is why there's no audio in this point this is my friend matt he helped me with this uh, retaining wall and paper patio I'm coming in and we're throwing a little backfill in behind here uh, actually pushing the dirt down in between the blocks that way we can get it uh, nice and stable now with the wall done we uh, moved on to the paper patio part so right there we are uh, leveling like inch and a half two inches of sand that way it gives a nice bed for the uh, pavers to sit on and it makes it easy to level out so what we did is when we were leveling we leveled where it was pitched towards the front of the paver patio not towards the house so quarter bubble out maybe um, that way we had a nice drainage This had no audio. Uh, I was basically just talking about how much of a pain in the butt it is to hand load all the bricks by yourself and nobody hand them to you. It kind of took a lot longer when I didn't have my friends there, but I do appreciate all the help that they did give me. Um, and basically it was just, it was a tedious project, but the final result was well worth all the labor that went into it because I would hate to know how much it would cost to uh, have somebody come and do all the labor that was needed for this project. There's my dogs. They kept uh, walking in my sand. I'd get a little bit done and then they would uh, walk right through it. Right here we're almost complete with the paper patio um, just trying to finish it out and this is my friend uh, Keith and Joe uh, they helped me a couple days on this I do appreciate everything they did because it made it a lot easier to uh, get it done basically we had about a weekend maybe half of the other weekend to get it all done uh, I did some work by myself a uh, couple of the days through those two weeks, but all in all, it was nice having them to help me.
much done for the day. I was showing them where I was going to do a walkway going up to the pool steps and up to the uh, deck. So, kind of a long day. It was nice to relax for a few minutes. for these uh, we're laying it down with the uh, Loctite's PL500 landscape construction adhesive uh, what this does is it pretty much locks the top cap so it will never slide or fall off because uh, you know kids they like to walk on these walls and do whatever it's kind of hard underneath the deck but where it comes out from underneath the deck they can uh, walk on it so right there is what I used um, we got the big tubes because it just goes a little bit further so you'll see he'll put it down once he puts it down he'll give it a shake back and forth just to make sure it levels the glue back out and then once it sets it only takes probably a couple minutes for that stuff to set up and then once it's on it's it's really hard to get off so what I'm doing here is I'm just sweeping uh, mason sand all over this whole thing and it took I probably swept it two three four times and then uh, once that was done then it filled all the gaps so you'll see in this next video where uh, we come in with a compactor so this is a 14 inch it only weighs like 90 pounds because I didn't want anything too heavy because I didn't want to shift or break any of the uh, pavers and you got to make sure you don't have any rocks or anything on here because it will mar the surface but what it does is it vibrates those pavers and lets all the sand go in between them and makes them lock in so you can see Joe going back through and sweeping over where I compacted already to go ahead and fill those back in so it can drain some more and then uh, I went made three different passes uh, two long ways in one short way and uh, it was fun um, I had to rent it for a full day but only actually used it for probably about 20 minutes so there's my wife down inspecting our work making sure we did it right on a side note you can see Joe wearing a mask and when I was uh, compacting you could see I had a mask on too um, the sand actually kicks up dust and it does contain silica so you need to protect yourself while compacting. see me start pulling pavers back out and what happened is somehow I got kicked to the right a little bit so as I was going up this incline um, I was not going to hit the stairs the way I wanted so here's my son helping me it was a uh, it was pretty pretty cool having him help me um, hopefully he'll help me with a bunch more pro uh, projects and uh, I just cherish these moments because uh, you know, they don't stay little like this forever.
So this was a very time consuming project, but uh, as you can see, the it was worth it. Um, the difficulty level was pretty up there. I mean, I've laid pavers and wallstone before. Um, I wouldn't say a bit beginner could probably do this. It's actually really not that hard, but uh, as you can see, you know, what I had before to what I have now uh, makes a huge difference and makes a better outdoor living space for us. And I want to thank all my friends that helped me on this project. It was fun.